Hey guys, welcome to the first video of IGCSE Biology and Revision. Uh, today we're going to be covering the characteristics of living organisms. So first of all, I'm sure you've heard this uh, acronym already, but it's um, it's a very important one, Mrs. Grin. Now, each of these letters represent a certain characteristic of a living organism, and you will need to be able to remember each of them and explain them too. So M stands for movement, and this is a pretty self-explanatory term. It's just a change in place of an organism or just a part of it. Respiration is defined as the chemical reactions that break down nutrients to release energy for metabolism. Now this is a whole different topic entirely, and you will be much more familiar with it in the later parts of the syllabus. S stands for sensitivity. Now this is simply put the ability to detect and respond to stimuli in the external or internal environment okay so next one is growth this is the permanent increase in size or dry mass of an uh, of an organism due to the increase in cell number cell size or both um, now if you're confused about the term dry mass this is pretty much just a measurement of weight uh, of a completely dehydrated uh, material. So if you're calculating the dry mass of a cell then you would completely have it dried up first and then measure it. Um, so yeah. Now R stands for reproduction. Now this is um, you know uh, it's a pretty obvious term. It's a procedure that makes more of the same kind of organism and uh, that's all you need a state to explain it. And excretion is the removal of waste products okay, from our chemical reactions in the body, uh, toxic materials or substances in excess from the body. Now please don't get excretion confused with egestion. When you go to the toilet and take a loo, now that is egestion, not excretion. The difference is uh, egestion is you're removing products of your food, you're removing like stuff that you ate that you wasn't able that you weren't able to digest excretion is a you know a removal of products uh, from our body's chemical reactions that are not uh, helpful to our body so for example in respiration we get good stuff like energy but we also get carbon dioxide that we don't need in our body and then when we remove it by exhaling that's called excretion uh, and stuff like toxic materials if you eat poison and okay well our body's going to try and remove that as fast as possible so that's another form of excretion and also stuff that we don't actually need in our bodies because we already have enough of when we remove that that's also called excretion so egestion, egestion excretion you got to know the difference uh, the last one is uh, nutrition and this is simply just the intake of materials uh, for energy growth and development so for plants it can be you know stuff like this light CO2 H2O ions and for animals it can be organic compounds ions and water uh, so really in this topic there really isn't much for me to explain but it's just up to you to be able to you know sit down study remember this stuff and um, yeah hopefully when it comes out you won't have too much trouble cool so I'll see you in the next video guys good luck